District 17 Congressman Pete Sessions held a veteran health care town hall today at American Legion Post 159. Now, the goal of this town hall was to gain a deeper understanding of local veterans experiences with VA health care. News 3's Donnie Tuggle was there as veterans took the mic to share their stories of hardship and concerns with the health care system. One by one, veterans from across the Brazos Valley shared their concerns and disappointments with Congressman Pete Sessions and representatives from the VA at Saturday's town hall. Issues ranging from lack of local care to billing disputes, but the most common was just getting someone on the phone. It's a guaranteed 20 to 40 minute wait to speak to someone. You gotta wait on hold for the operator who then waits on hold to talk to somebody else. And you never actually get to talk to someone. You can only really leave a message. That's retired Marine Andrew Beamett. He suffered a brain injury while serving. He says getting timely care from the VA has been a challenge. I can't get a doctor's appointment within five months. Retired Air Force military lawyer Joe Levengood, who was injured in Baghdad, shares the same issues. It's far too many people you have to go through t before you can get to see an actual medical care provider, someone that's an expert in solving the problem. After hearing issues like these, Congressman Pete Sessions ensured the group that help is on the way. I promise that I will be back within the month. And we will not only make measurable progress at those, but we will also have a communications plan that will help every single person that needs help. Bemis says he's heard those promises before and hopes it will be different this time around. As political as they were, they heard what we were saying, and I do genuinely believe they are they're interested in helping, but uh, I, I don't have much faith because that's what everyone says. Donnie Tuggle, News 3. Congressman Session tells us another Veterans Town Hall is in the works for August in Burleson County. We'll keep you up to date with those details as they develop.